All right, once again, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bashem Yashai, Bashem Kakwadash. Double hands be unto the apostles and there is a great millstone. To all the Akams worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the Chia Machrian at camp. Just be unto quick edification, three spirits and the power of the Mosai, Bashem Yashai. My edification is entitled. We move power, Yahweh Bashem Yishai, to wrath. And we as a people, as a nation, that mainly makes up the Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, we have gone astray from our power. And we have gone about serving other gods, gods of wood and stone, gods that don't profit, dumb dogs, dumb idols, you know? And leave off our first love, which is the first the Mosai Yahab Hashem Yishai. And go a whoring after these other gods. And because of that, we have put that wrath upon us from the Lord Yahab Hashem Yishai. And we are currently in slavery. And through all the times before that we were in slavery, one of the main reasons was we brought that wrath upon us by saving other gods. So I'll start off with Baruch chapter 4 and verse 6. Going down, it says, He was sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because he moved power to wrath, he were delivered unto the enemies. And currently we are under one of our enemy, which is Esau, Esau called white man, and we are still in bondage. Whereas some of our people believe that we are free, but that is far from the truth. We are not free, but we are still under bondage. For he provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not unto power. He have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and he have grieved, and he have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. So, yeah, Jerusalem didn't nurse you, you know. We were nursed and nurtured as a nation, and we were favored above all other nations. We were chosen as the people of the Moshe of Hashem Yishai. Whenever the less that wasn't enough for us, you know, we went off serving these other gods. Baruch chapter 1 and verse 19 it says, Since the day that the Lord Yahweh Mishai brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt unto this present day, we have, best, we have been disobedient unto the Lord Yahweh Mishai our power, and we have been negligent in not hearing his voice. Wherefore the evil cleave unto us, and the curse which the Lord Yahweh Mishai appointed by Moses his servant. At the time that he brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that flowed with milk and honey, like as it is to see this day. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of our Lord Abashemesh our power, according to all his words of the prophet who he sent unto us. But every man followed the imagination of his own wicked heart to serve strange gods and to do evil in the sight of the Lord of Hashem our power. And that's the same vibration that is happening today. Whereas you see our people, they run into the harlot houses, which are the churches in numbers, you know, to sacrifice unto devils and to give orphans that is no wit. And he sends the sow a seed to get prosperity to try and get a car or a house or some material wealth but not understanding that the men of the Lord are of Hashem are on the highways and the byways and they are giving you it freely and whereas these crooked pastors they are robbing you and tricking you into all sorts of witchery and witchcraft and and also we were put into slavery because of that wrath. And the Moshe of Hashem will have given us some blessings 
and give us some cursings if we will have gone off from serving him and serving these other gods. So part of part of the um part of the blessings that we will have have if we go to book chap Deuteronomy chapter one and verse um actually Deuteronomy twenty eight and verse one probably go down to three or four a little bit. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord of Hashemishai power to observe and do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord Yahweh Shai thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh Shai thy power and then we have a lot of blessings that will have been listed, that will have been blessings to put you high above all the nations that is upon the earth. But you know that we are stiff-necked people and we're hard-headed. So one of the curses that would have been brought upon us, if we go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68, and the Lord our Bashim Shai shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwoman, and no man shall buy you. And that's deep. Because up to this present day, no nation has claimed us as their people, and no one has tried to purchase us back. Or integrate us back into their nation or their community to say come here and find peace but other than that we have been a spectacle in the eyes of the other nations and we have been called all sorts of words and by words but nevertheless these people that put us in slavery according to our laws they shall go into slavery and these people that and laughing at us now, according to our prophecy, we're going to laugh at them when their calamity come. So Exodus chapter 21 and verse 16, I said, And he that seedeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And when Yahushai appear back on the scene and find us in Esau's hands, Esau is going to be put to death him and his people and his kingdom revelation chapter 13 and verse 10 it says he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword here is the patience and the fate of the saints and that's one of the patience that we are waiting on because we know this is not a physical battle but it's a spiritual one and if we keep doing the will of the most high of Hashem Shai and building our spiritual man hopefully we'll make it to the end and hopefully we'll be part of that hopefully lek and we'll be able to take down Esau kingdom with our hands along with Yahweh Shai you know but we are moved power I have Hashem Shai to wrath by sacrificing unto these devils. So I do hope they were satisfying to you. You know, with that I want to give all praise, all honor and glory be unto the most I have Hashem Shai. Basham Kodash. And the devil has been to the apostles and the elders of great millstone. To all the Akiams worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. And stay strong, my Akiam. Shalom.